May your beautiful soul rest in perfect peace. Ever since I met him, you have always been his spiritual father. He has always wanted to be like you, to talk like you, to walk like you, to pray and preach like you. He listens to your ministrations every single morning. But today, he has fallen from grace. He has filled all those who look up to him. He has filled his ministry. He's filled his calling. And above all, he's filled God. Please pray for us. Please help us. This candle is just too much for us to bear. The nurse are currently trying to get him out of detention. And the church does not want to be part of this shameful case. I don't know what to do, Papa. Please help us. Please. Come on to something now. Do you still love him? Yes, I do. Uh, listening to everything you've said and following the story with your husband, I believe that what is happening to him is not wickedness, but a weakness. And this will require deliverance and a lot of intercession. And there's nobody better than you as the wife to stand in the gap. It is in moments and times like this that your love for him can really be demonstrated and tested. So I will stand in the gap with you for him. But one of the things we will need is to pray that God will give him a second chance. And when he comes out of prison, that we will have the opportunity to be able to take him to deliverance. Because confession and repentance is good, but he has to go through deliverance to break the soul tie and to renounce the legal grounds. Because if he doesn't go through deliverance, this thing can reoccur, it, it will keep happening. So let's pray. How dare you? Tell me it's not true, and I'll believe you. Tell me it is not true, and I'll believe you. I know it's on social media, it's on television, it's on radio. In fact, everybody is talking about it. I want to hear from you, Pastor Teddy. Tell me you didn't do it. Did you do it? He did, knowing how desperately I needed my child. Knowing that your wife can never, never give us a child. And God blessed you with a child? And God didn't bless me with a child. The devil cursed you with a child. The devil cursed you to go after the girl. Did the devil force you to take the girl to your room? Did the devil force you to open her legs? Was it a curse from the devil when you have been fucked? Enough! Enough! I pray to God. When I ask for forgiveness, I know He's forgiven. No. I'm just going to ask you for one thing. I don't. 
want you to ever, ever copy your baby of this. I don't want you, nor my wife, nor my church members. I don't want anybody to come to the office. When I get up, you can come home to see yourself. I want to spend the rest of my time here. We are all aware that Pastor Teddy Hansen served this church for several years. We do appreciate his selfless service to this church. However, after much thought and deliberation, the Council of Elders of this church, we have decided to suspend Pastor Teddy from all church-related activities until further notice. You know, Ruth, the Bible says the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never comes to an end. They are renewed every morning, and great is His faithfulness. Looking at Him, knowing Him, and the situation, do you sense a genuine repentance, remorse. We need to invoke and plead the message of God, which is exemption from judgment or consequence, to discharge him and acquit him from every legal grounds that this act had given to the accuser against him in the courts of heaven and in any satanic court of jurisdiction we need to pray on the account of the blood of Jesus. God said to Abraham that your descendants will go into captivity for 400 years. And after 400 years, I'll bring them out with great substance. So it's not what you go through, but it's how and what you come out with. So we want to pray that the message of God will triumph in this matter. That God's mercy will answer for him and will mute and silence the voice of the accuser of the brethren. Let us pray. You hold your son in prison. We pray that you will look favorably upon the brokenness of your daughter and your son and that mercy, mercy, mercy will triumph as it is written over judgment for it is written in wrath Remember mercy in the midst of the years. Revive thy work. We pray heavenly Father that in the name of your son Jesus, you will extend the courtesies of your mercy to your daughter and to your son and that you will be acquitted and discharged and brought out of this situation. That grace will be extended to them to be able to handle and will show mercy to others even as he has obtained mercy. For blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Let mercy be right now, in the name of your son Jesus, be extended to Ruth and to the husband. And pray that your church will stay intact and that the faith of so many in the name of Jesus will not be destroyed by this act. I thank you for mercy that upholds all things. Amen. Amen. Father, I need your help.